Once you've downloaded the file, double click it and unzip it. Then Smart PSS will write, be there in the extracted folder. What you can do is open up a new finder window, go to Applications, click and hold and drag it into your Applications folder. Once in there, you can double click on it and it will load. You may get a message like this. This is Apple security just telling you that uh, it's downloaded from the internet. Go to System Preferences, go to Security here, then go to General, uncheck this. What you can do is now you have to click on the padlock. First cancel out of here. And then in the general, you'll see it says open anyway. Click on that. It may not let you. You need to unlock this to make changes. So it may get stuck. So right now mine is stuck. Let's do it again. Go to system preferences, security, unlock this, and then enter your password and then hit open anyway, and click open here, and it should load the program. Here it's just asking you to put a password in for the program. You can put it anything you want. This is not the password for your camera or for your recorder. It's just for this software. Uh, for security questions, I like to just put none, because I'm just using the software myself. And then that's it. It's It turns on, and then what you can do is, if you're connected to the correct network, same network as the cameras, you can hit search and find the cameras on the network asks you permissions here, hit allow, and make sure you have the right subnet defined over here, depending on which network you're on. You can hit auto search, and if you're on the same network as the cameras, you can click on an individual camera or the NVR, hit add, click OK, put in the username password. If this is a new camera, you'd find the password on the camera box. And then the camera will appear as online, and then you can actually go under Live View. And then you can drag the camera in and watch it as well. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.